Chef Talk with Kyle Cherick is brought to you by the following presenting sponsors. Schwanke Caston Jewelers and Tag Hewer Watches. Mandel and the North End. For more information on these or other supporting sponsors, please click on the banner ads to the right of the Chef Talk episodes for links directly to their websites. Okay, these are the large plates, and this is my friend Peggy Magister, and this is the quick cooking segment we're going to do with Chef Talk. And what are you making, sea bass? Um, I want to, first of all, get rid of that nice egg on there. <laughs> this is a real-world <laughs> kitchen, we baby. Because we were doing scotch eggs the other day. Okay, so yes, I am making um, dried, <laughs> mus dried mushroom crusted sea bass. And it's going to be over a bed of cauliflower mascarpone puree, finished off with a little shiitake and cremini mushrooms. Um, a little pea shoots and a veal jus with some sautéed ramps because we have ramps right now. Right now, like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots of ramps. I'll shut up and you cook. That's so, okay. What happens? Okay. Well, I gotta warm up some pans. Oh man, we gotta oh, warm up the pans. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta warm up. Some pans. So, uh, as a perspective for Peggy's kitchen here at Crazy Water, there are flight attendants that work for United that have larger staging areas to bring the crackers and uh, soda down the aisles than this kitchen's got. Crazy, isn't it? If I sneeze, I'm gonna blow those windows out and ruin the dish. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I just put some dried, I take dried mushrooms and put it in a processor and grind it up, actually a, a coffee grinder. And I just dust both sides and it sticks on pretty good. You don't need any egg or anything else to make it stick. Uh, so I just wanted to get my pan hot. Uh, I put a little, it's usually a combination of olive oil and butter. I like both. Um, I like the flavor of the butter and the olive oil. You can get it nice and hot, pan nice and hot so it doesn't burn. So I just brown both sides and I'll end up finishing it in the oven while I do the rest of my dish. So here I have another hot pan and I'm gonna saute up some mushrooms. So how long has this been on the menu or is this a new springy item? This actually, we haven't changed the menu yet. Dude, so look at those pans. I, am, I wish I my you pans would look like that. I that mean, is. It would be nice if they were more of a flat no, surface. No, but, but that's freaking flavor right but there, not, baked into and those. It's okay. It's it's okay. It, I'm just not going to spend a lot of money for a pan. That they just get ruined. You know, they really do. And I like to season everything. You should always season things, especially if you're using an unsalted butter, which we do. But you don't want to over season because not everybody likes a lot of salt and pepper on their food, and they can do that at the table. So I'm going to saute some ramps over here too. They've already been blanched in uh, water with a little bit of salt in it because it helps to keep green vegetables green. And I do want to get it brown, a little brown. Mm -hmm. So where do you get your fish, Peg? I get it from St. Paul Fish. It's right in the uh, Walking Public Market. Yeah. So the uh, mushrooms get a little brown on it, which is nice. I'm interrupting you. I'm go sorry. for it. You're okay. cooking. I can't stop this process. You know, everybody it's, does, and they should. What's that? That's my veal juice. Oh, yeah. This is happiness reduced. It is. Reduced it into is. more yummy happiness. It is. It actually starts with veal juice, and then I use it to put the pork shoulder in. So it's kind of a combo of both. <laughs> I know. It's, it's a jackalope, for Christ's well, sake. And, <laughs> You learn how to use what you have in the kitchen, and food costs are very important. So they just got a little blistering on them, which I'm just turning those off, because I don't want to lose the nice green. And it's brown on this side, but it will need to be finished in the oven for just a minute. So now I do make this cauliflower and mascarpone puree ahead, and I do have to warm it up in the microwave. So then I put the ramps. I want them to be seen a little bit, so I do want them sticking out. So you can get the nice green because it's not a real colorful dish. So this is a nice thing to be able to add to it. Absolutely Look at not. the charring on the inside of this oven. It's like the Brothers Grimm. <laughs> I know. You have cooked little children in there. Oh, cooked a lot in here. <laughs> so it's got a really nice it's pretty. coloring on it, yeah. I think. So we'll put the, the most golden color on the top. And then we'll put the sautéed mushrooms, the veal jus. A little bit on top and a little bit kind of interspersed within the ramps because you don't really want to hide all that nice green color that you have. 
So you would be the first to call me a culinary idiot, but right now I'm basically looking at meat and potatoes with gravy on the, with fish. a really new take with cauliflower, fish, and rice. I know, yeah. I know, but you know, a lot of a lot of times you see veal demis or or brown stacks with fish. Yeah. And also just a little green, it's pea shoots, peas are in season, That's spring. Right. A little bit of that, and I do have a few little, little orchids that I have. Oh, yeah. orchid flower. Yeah, orchid flower. Ah. That I just kind of, you kind of cut it up a little bit. So there you go. It looks springy, but I mean, even though it's a little heavier, it is. So, recipe will be on the site, and Peggy's a good cook, but we already knew that. And if you haven't been to Crazy Water, it's your own damn fault.